What is EasyCast? EasyCast is a reactive, clear casting epoxy. It's solvent free and low odor. It can easily be colored, tinted, or combined with other fillers to create any color palette your project may need. These characteristics make it ideal for casting and embedding up to six ounces per pour. The supplies you need include plastic measuring cups. Measuring your one-to-one -one ratio of both hardener and resin is key to a successful casting. These cups are marked with various measurement lines. Wood stir sticks are ideal for mixing. I always keep a box of these on hand and use them constantly. Gloves are important too. We recommend wearing them whenever you work with a resin product. Our casting craft line includes both pigment and translucent colorants for coloring your easy cast epoxy. There are many different types of molds you can pour easy cast into. Polypropylene or polyethylene molds do work best because of their self-releasing properties. There are lots of different silicone molds you can work in as well. It's best to test the mold first by placing a small drop or two of mixed easy cast on the back side of the mold to check and see if it will release easily when cured. In your box you will find an informative instruction and techniques pamphlet. Please take a moment to review it because there are a number of great how-tos, project ideas, and techniques enclosed. There are two bottles in your box. One is the resin and one is the hardener. We recommend a two-cup mixing procedure. My first measuring cup has two measuring lines pre-marked so that I can add one quarter of an ounce of both resin and hardener to my first cup. For easy cast to blend properly, it must be mixed in two steps. Use the stir stick to mix this first cup for two minutes. Also, scrape the sides and the bottom of your mixing container regularly. Pour the contents from the first cup into a second cup or container. Using a new stir stick, mix the contents of this second cup another full minute. Each of these mold cavities have been partially filled with easy cast. Now I'm dropping in beads and other small inclusions. Then I add a little extra easy cast to any cavity not filled to the brim. You can see how easy it is to pop my cured pieces right out of the mold. They look just great and I can use them to make some wonderful jewelry. I place some paper, good side down, and glitter to this first layer of clear easy cast already cured in the mold. When the glitter was dry, I poured easy cast to the rim. 24 hours later, I pop out some gorgeous castings. It really is amazing what tissue paper looks like embedded in easy cast. Each piece more beautiful than the next. I colored a small batch of easy cast with white pigment and poured it halfway into my bangle mold. I let that cure overnight. The second day, I made a second batch of black colored resin and poured that into the mold as well, allowing that to settle and cure overnight too. 24 hours later, I was able to pop out my dual colored bangle from the mold. The rough edges, I'll sand and then polish. It really is wonderful to cast an exact duplicate. In this tray, I'm pouring Easy Cast, which I colored with Perlex powders. Perlex is available in many different colors. This pink is a favorite and appropriate for the mini Madeleines I am casting. This tray mold features a rose, so I mixed my Easy Cast with our red pigment colorant. 
When you remove casted duplicates from these types of molds, the resin appears to have a matte finish. You may prefer it this way. We do have a resin spray sealer that gives a high gloss finish and covers imperfections on casted pieces. Here's how my red rose turned out, and here's the same mold being used with white easy cast resin. I am adding some opal colored flakes to my uncolored easy cast and pouring it into a silicone baking mold. After curing overnight, I poured in a layer of easy cast I colored black for what will be the bottom of my cast heart. See how the flakes sparkle against the black background? These are some of my own molds made from objects I have collected. The heart is special and red pigment colored easy cast looks amazing when cast. I hope you notice the glossy shine that my finished piece attained with an application of our resin spray. This is one of my best molds, an ice cube tray that I found in a kitchen store. I made a batch of easy cast and added our blue pigment colorant to it. After curing overnight, I have these adorable Easter Island heads to use in all sorts of different projects. In this case, I chose to use it in a necklace. Normally, when you work in a mold, you have to think backwards. The bottom is the top. I chose the reverse for this project. First, I made a batch of white easy casts, which will be the bottom of my finished piece. I applied dried flowers and charms to my cured white layer of easy cast. I then covered my inclusions with a second layer of easy cast resin. After curing, I popped out some spectacular pieces. They'll be sanded, polished, and used to make some pretty interesting pendants for jewelry pieces. We also have a mold release to clean, condition, and extend the life of your molds.